To find your way in life is not an external search. It's an internal search. Because God equipped you the moment he gave birth to you. God equipped you at birth with what you needed. He gave all of you a gift. All of you. Every last one of you, you, you're gifted. God never created a soul without giving them a gift. All of you sitting in here were given a gift at birth. He put it inside you. You ain't got to look under the ocean. It ain't on a mountain. It ain't under no rocks. He put it in you at birth. He gave you a gift. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift. That's the thing you should pursue. Your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of important men. That's what your gift will do for you. Everything else you're doing has nothing to do with what God created you for. And if you're unhappy with your life, if you haven't figured your life out, if you're thinking there's more to your life than it is, it's because the only reason you have that question is because you're not living in your gift. Once you discover your gift, there lies your greatest chance for success. That's what God gave you, equipped you with. The you just got to quit looking at gifts as running, jumping, singing, and dancing. Quit trying to do what somebody else is doing because that ain't your life. And if you're bold enough to chase the dream, he'll get you through the journey. You just can't quit in the middle of the journey because he knows you're chasing dreams. You, you have to understand why you're going through the period that's causing you to make you want to give up. See, the devil, the devil has one mission. One mission only is to rob you of your destiny. That's the devil's only job. If he can get you to give up, you have been robbed of your destiny. If he gets you to never follow your dream, chase your dream, he robs you of your destiny. If he causes you to think that this is all my life is, he has caused you to rob you of your destiny. You just have to understand that Satan has one job to rob you of your destiny. When you have thoughts that are negative, that's not God, that's Satan. He's doing everything he can to keep you from being who God made you to be. You gotta get focused, man. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you, what you ask God for. Every trial and tribulation you go through prepares you for the life God has for you. All the hard times, everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just gotta quit tripping why are you in the process? Because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way. And you're gonna be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Oh, Lord, why he leave me? You ain't the first chick got left. This might, this might not even be your last time getting left. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. He going to fix it. When you ask God for something, quit tripping. He got it from here. God can't give you what you want because you want to hold on to what you got. You all in the way. Now you telling him how to bless you. You can't tell God how to bless you. It's a simple process. If you look in life and just step outside for a minute and quit tripping, it really ain't no problem. You need faith. You ain't gotta be that smart. I flunked out of school. I ain't got no degree in nothing. You, you, you gotta identify your gift and go and go do what you gifted at. You ain't you ain't gotta be smart. You don't gotta have a degree. 
You don't have to go to UCLA or none of that. You could be highly successful and go to no school. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates don't have a degree between none of them. Just go follow your dream, man. Go make your life happen. Identify your God-given gift and go and get your life. Quit tripping because you don't have what a group of people told you you need to be successful. If you're not a degree person, you can go to school all you want. If that's not in you, what, how are you going to get a degree? Quit letting people tell you the route to success when clearly God created you to be different. Just go that route. You don't have to go get a degree if you're not a degree person. Now, if you want to be a doctor, scientist, a lawyer, you got to get a degree. But if you're not that person, you can still make it. Quit tripping because you don't have what he got. You ain't finna be what he is. God made you different. Just go be different. You get paid to be different. People pay you to be different. Weird people make money. Regular people don't make money. Regular people make regular money. If God made you exceptional, go be exceptional at whatever it is. That's how you become. People pay for expertise. They pay for exceptional people. They don't pay regular people. If you focus in on being regular, you're gonna have a regular life. It's nothing wrong with that, but if you aspire to something more than regular, you got to go be extraordinary. The difference between ordinary people and, and extraordinary people is one word, extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, you become extraordinary. You, you ain't gotta be like everybody else. If you do hair, go do everybody's hair. If you cut grass, cut everybody grass. I'm telling you, man, you can be highly successful without a college degree. I don't have one.